What is going on guys, it's SJ Sports and welcome back to episode number 2 of my Legion United career mode. Before I go any further guys, make sure you check out the xboxfifashop.com, link will be in the description below for cheap, reliable, ultimate team coins, only Xbox guys, and they do cover the 5% EA tax, so that's good to know. So want some cheap libel coins guys you know where to go for them right on to this episode then and we are playing Barnsley now knowing Barnsley uh, G-Man FIFA HD will be interested in this video I presume because he's a Barnsley fan and he's from Barnsley um, a lot of you will know Leeds United fans will know that Barnsley are basically our bogey team so we're not going to let that happen it's the first game of the championship campaign it's the same team lineup as I've gone for it's my at the moment, it is probably my strongest 11 I can field. So then, it is game day, and I'm looking forward to this one indeed. It certainly is a Yorkshire derby. We are at home against Barnsley. The starting lineup's on screen. For some reason, it doesn't show the Barnsley lineup. I don't know if that's a glitch with, with the game or whatnot, but it just shows me. Uh, the home lineups, it's Barnsley that get his game underway. And it's Barnsley that have the first real effort. It's a Hederson, a header, Hederson, a header from Pedersen. Uh, and it just goes wide. But we do capitalise on some poor defending from from Barnsley. Varnu tried to chink the keeper, but the goalkeeper came out on top. And Barnsley get the ball clear. It's not what we wanted, but some nice football play there. It was a great challenge from Barnsley. But we do pick the ball back up. Alex Moore does a fake shot, gets into the box. It's a shot. The keeper makes the save. And Barnsley managed to clear their lines yet again. Just before half-time, then Varnu swings his left leg at it. And it just goes wide of the post. So unlucky from Varney there. Maybe he could have hit the target, maybe made the keeper work. Right on half time, then, guys, just before the whistle blows, it's a great ball from Jason Pearson. McCormack shots and it hits the post. What do we have to do to score in this game? It's, that is how it stays when the referee blows his half time whistle. We need to get into the change rooms and have a rethink and a regroup and see what we can do. Then Jimmy Kebby goes on a right run down the right hand side of the play, uh, right hand side of the field. And Stewart does really well to play back to McCormack. McCormack tries the turn shot and it's quite comfortable for stealing goal for Barnsley. Then Barnsley will just launch a free kick from an offside up the pitch. Kenny's coming out to claim it and the referee awards him a penalty. So Barnsley have a penalty, not what we wanted. Wasn't a penalty. Kenny, you can see by Kenny's reaction what it is. So it's Kenny versus Pedersen who will come out on top. Pedersen then thinking about what he's going to do, begins his run up, tries a cheeky chip, and it puts it over the bar. Serves him right for being an absolute twat. <laughs> Sorry, but then the 90th minute thing happens again. He aired all over the place. And it's good play from from the Barnsley attack. I think it was Mellis, I think. And he sends Barnsley back to Oakwell with all important three points. We are very disappointed, to say the least, with that result. We didn't deserve that. I showed you all three Barnsley's chances as well during that game. Oh, well, we need to put this behind us. We need to brush ourselves down and go into the next game with a lot more confidence and a little bit more stronger. So then, after the uh, the defeat to Barnsley, we are confronted with, with with a player conversation. Tom Lee's request to be transferred. He spent a lot of time considering his future, and although the timing is bad, he knows that he needs a change of scenery. He would like to be moved immediately. So we're going to have to put Tom Lee's on the transfer list, which is a bit of a disappointment because he is... A, a fairly decent player on this, uh, especially for the championship level. Uh, it's just not been in my plans because obviously Zaka Lucas uh, and Jason Pierce are doing doing really well. Wow! So I'm going to go ahead and list him on the transfer list, and then I'll be back with our next game. Then, guys, I shall see you all very soon. So then we are again at home against Derby County this time. Uh, we need to make amends for our disappointing Derby defeat against. Uh, Barnsley, so it's Darby that gets the game underway, and Darby do start off the better again. I seem to be struggling to get into the game sometimes. Some important save, or maybe a clearing header from uh, the defender on the line. I think it was Jason Pierce. But look at this work from Kebby. It's not really a highlight, but I just want to just show you this. This is how good. It was brilliant. It did well. 
right up until the final ball and Derby do manage to clear it. I just wanted to show you that guys just because of the Ignite engine. But then Derby have another chance, lovely move and it's a great save from Paddy Kenny. That back heel didn't half cut my defence through open and then Rudolf Austin's running forward big powerful run that he is has a shot it's a great save from the keeper Murphy must score but it puts it wide of the post very unlucky there then nice play from Smith again then Noel Hunt will hit one and it's just gone wide and that is how it stayed until the break then in the second half nothing else really happened other than this Matt Smith wins the header and it hits the inside of the bar and somehow does not go in so that is how things stayed up until the full time whistle it finished Leeds United nil Derby County nil so then after the uh, Derby game we drew nil nil we've, we've had two offers for Tom Leeds one is for 1.4 million from West Ham and the other is for 1.9 million from Sunderland so what I'm going to do is I want him to sell him for two million pounds bit risky I know uh, we're gonna do the same with with West Ham uh, just to see what happens see if they come back so we're gonna summon them off as guys and I shall speak to you very soon so then this is our first activity dipping our toes into the transfer market we are gonna put in a loan offer for Brian Oviedo who fortunately broke his ankle um, at the weekend or he's broke his leg it was a double fracture in two places I've always liked him when he's played he's covered well for Leighton Baines and I want to see how he does in this career mode of FIFA 14 so the loan offer has been sent we will find out what the outcome will be very shortly now then we are now going to put in a transfer offer for Tom Heaton, the Burnley goalkeeper, and another guy that I rate very highly um, in the Championship. You saw what he did to us in the last episode um, when we played Burnley in the Cup. He made some crucial saves. The reason why I'm trying to sign him is because Paddy Kenny is retiring at the end of the season. So we'll hopefully we'll hear back from them. Right then, just an update on Tom Lee's. The asking price we set for Tom Lee's, West Ham came in for a £1.4 million offer for Tom Lee's, who wants to depart the club, unfortunately. And we said we wanted £2 million for him. I said it was quite a risky deal. And West Ham have decided to match it and go ahead with the deal. So West Ham represent representatives, oh, put my teeth back in, will now meet with his agent to negotiate his contract. So it looks like Tom Lee's will be departing the club. Quite disappointed, but... It's out of my hands, there's nothing I can really do about it. So, as well, I've just mentioned about West Ham decided to match the deal that we left for Tom Lee's at an asking price of £2 million. The same outcome is with Sunderland. So, now Tom Lee's is in talks with West Ham and Sunderland. Right, this time then, we have got confirmation that, that Tom Lee's has moved to West Ham for £2 million and the board have allocated me £1.7 of to my current transfer budget and also as you may have seen the loan offer for Tommy uh, Tommy where did they get that from from Brian Oviedo uh, has been accepted so we're going to accept that offer we're going to get him on loan what a great signing I feel that is and our bid for Tom Heaton has been rejected and they can't accept terms because the player just recently moved to his team so he is not available right then guys I've just seen that Alex McCarthy has handed in a transfer request now the heat and deal fell through for me his value is 1.7 million um, my chief executive reckons that I should scout um, it looks like a future a future star um, at the moment it's probably going to be a worth between 3.2 million pounds so I'm going to put in a cheeky 3 million pound offer for him I know how good this guy is Leeds had him on loan in real life a few seasons ago he is superb so hopefully he will be the next person to come through the door and we're going to leave it at that guys the next game is Huddersfield Town big big game against um, our Yorkshire rivals or it's another derby so you never know what can happen uh, in this so yep we're going to leave it there guys hope you have enjoyed this video hit that like button hit that subscribe button make sure you follow me on twitter it's at sjhsports and i shall see you all on my next video guys and goodbye